An odd police chase turned heads in New England this week. An emu broke out of its enclosure and took off through town. Surveillance cameras spotting the large flightless bird named Mallory wandering through an intersection of a Boston suburb. Mallory's owner thinks that she got spooked by a wild animal, jumped a six foot fence and took off. She ran all the way up to the intersection and then cut into a field. I got up to her at the field and I was walking with her there and she wouldn't come to she was terrified. I bet she was uh, with help from police. They finally got a blanket around Mallory and were able to return her to her pen. Look at her. She's doing fine now. Other than that minor scrape on her leg, uh, from escaping, Mallory was unharmed. The big question this morning, though, is it emu <laughs> or emu? Well, I've got all my bases covered because I said it both ways today. Yes, right, you did, you did. <laughs> so I, apparently, in down under in Australia and New Zealand, they call it. They say emu, okay, emu. But here in the U.S., all we generally life. all my life I've said emu. Emu, yeah. So, so there was a little. I think a couple of years ago, NPR did a, a story where they were Analyze, trying to track yeah. the different pronunciations of emu or emu, uh, and it, they caused a little kerfuffle. Yeah. International. Okay. There's a debate online, so yes, you be is. sure to weigh in. <laughs> well, Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.